Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at the Salad Factory here in Thailand. One of my favorite places to eat. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this uh, amazing healthy restaurant here in uh, Pattaya Central Mall. So let's go and sit down and get a nice healthy bite. Um, so we're gonna start off with their, their menu here. You see they have like all different types of salads. Hello, how are you? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy eating here. Salads. Good food is wise medicine. You know, salad makes people healthy. Healthy people makes people happy. How about that? All right. May sound a little corny, but it's true. Healthy people do make people happy. And when you when you feel good, you want others to feel good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, have a seat here and uh, place my order. I already pretty much know what I want. Um, thank you, sir. Yeah. So um, yeah. So. They always give you like a variety of different menus here. Um, you know, like the healthy bowl, they call this. And then you have like your beverages here. Uh, the beverages are all good. That, everything is really healthy, um, really good for you, you know. Um, get those polyphenols and fibers in your body that you need. Healthy things that you need in your body. Um, they also have wraps here also. But my favorite is the kale salad and the um, and the chop. So I'm gonna order that. And um, and also like the berry. They make a really great um, mixed berry um, smoothie. Um, so I'm gonna order that as well. But as you can see, I'll just show you, flip through the menu, show you some of the options here. Really good, um, from spicy to, um, you know, you got your appetizers here, but they all have pictures, really nice pictures, which is very helpful. Hi, uh, I like to order. Um, so while I, got, while, while I have your attention, thank you. Like, I would like to order this, yes. Um, they make really good steaks. And the and the and the kale salad, um, yes, this the kale salad. I like to order that. And and for for a drink, I like to order the mixed berry. So um, no, that's not it. The mixed berry smoothie. This I like to order that. So this is the mixed berry smoothie. Okay. So those are my three things I like to order. So, won't take too long. But yeah, I mean, I, I found this place just by walking around in the mall. And uh, wow, you know, for the equivalent of what an extra value meal may cost at McDonald's in the United States, which today, um, today is, the, the year is 2024, right? And from the, from when I left the States, an extra value meal at McDonald's was like 15 bucks. <laughs> it's ridiculous for food that's really unhealthy for you. Um, to be that expensive, man. It's not even just expensive on your, I mean, maybe I'm showing my age because, you know, we used to get an extra value meal for three or four dollars. <laughs> And you know, just with inflation alone, with the way things are in, the, in today's world, um, inflation alone, I mean, you're gonna have to pay like, you know, 15, 16 dollars at, at McDonald's. Um, I, I don't wanna say it like that, cause you know, I, I used to do advertising for McDonald's for, for many years. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great corporation. Um, but, you know, 
well, let's just be real. A lot of the things that they serve are not really um, good for you. A lot of people that work for McDonald's don't even eat, you know, wouldn't eat it. But anyway, um, I've, I've, I've eaten McDonald's several times. I have nothing to, nothing to guess it. Just right now, at this stage of my life, that's not my preference. That's not something I prefer. But um, here, in, here in Thailand, um, the, the salad factory, you can get, you know, um, a, pretty much a steak dinner, a, a kale salad, all, all organic, right? Mixed berry drink um, for less than $14. I mean, I mean, like, for less than 15 bucks. Um, and it's something that, that your body really needs. And um, I just think that, you know, that's a, just a good trade off for me. You know, maybe you prefer McDonald's or uh, fast food joints, but um, you know, for the many years that I did um, in, indulge in those foods, I ended up with high blood pressure, diabetes. You know, hypertension and diabetes is no joke. Um, hypertension is, you know, high blood pressure is, is a silent killer, um, and it's just just a lot of the consuming a lot of those foods, you know, that are not healthy for you. So. You know, I, I just had to really move away from that. And the combination of, you know, maybe, you know, having drinks and, you know, smoking or whatever, like all those things just eventually just add up. And they, they tax your body, they tax you mentally, physically. Um, and, you know, you find yourself overweight, obese, you know, um, people just say, oh, exercise more, but you can't outwork a, a poor diet. You got a really bad diet, don't care how much you work out. Um, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna lose the weight, you know. I mean, right next door to us is, is a, there's a, there's a KFC there, fast food KFC. Um, it's a taco place. I mean, you know, your preference uh, of, of what you want to eat is up to you. But I'm just speaking from experience, from my experience. Um, that, you know, the healthier I eat, I find like my my food becomes my medicine, and it helps me heal from within. Um, I'm, and, and it tastes good too, like, you know, um, the food I just ordered, is, it's not horrible um, tasting food, um, but just more, getting more salads in, you know, getting more berries, mixed berries, fruit, you know. Um, it, you know, it's, it's just, uh, in, and when I eat meat, I, I prefer to see a bone, you know, I'm, I don't want to, you know, I'm, I'm not a, a vegetarian or anything like that. But you know, when you're eating a patty, you don't know what, you just don't know what's what's in it. You, just, you know, you you hope and pray that it, it is what they, they say it is, right? Um, I hope it's good, I hope it's healthy. Uh, you know, I hope they didn't contaminate it with the E. coli or whatever, you know, um, the stress or whatever they put in, the, the stress that they put in on the animals and then resell it to you and feed it to you. Um, just all these things that you're putting in your body over time adds up, you know. Um, my, my father died from diabetes. My mother passed away from breast cancer. You know, all, all of these things has a, an effect on what you're putting inside your body. Um, you know, things like diabetes, you, you, can, you can control this. A lot of these things you can control just by controlling what you eat. So I've gotten on this, um, this uh, thing of doing um, one meal per day. So I've been doing like um, really good, you know, like just just eat as, as much as you can in one setting and then just let your body do the work for the rest of the day until the following day. Um, I've been doing that now um, for over 30 days. I feel perfectly fine allowing the body to fast, allowing the body to digest the food, um, putting your body into a state of ketosis and allowing your body to reach a state of autophagy, right? Of, of healing itself within. Um, but that's not something that a lot of the big corporations, they don't promote that because, you know, there's, again, there's no profit in being healthy, right? So the more you can, we can get you to convince you to eat more, eat more, eat more, and, and spike your insulin up and give you a peel, another peel, um, you know, that's profitable, right? But you know, if we just told you that your, if we, if you give your body time enough to heal and give it the right nutrients, it would heal itself. That doesn't sound right. There, no, there's no way. But we were designed, we were designed to fast. 
Um, thank you so much. Our bodies were, were, were designed to go long periods um, without actually um, constantly digesting food. But you know, that's, that's not something that uh, they want to really promote. So kudos to those that choose to eat uh, healthier. Um, this is the mixed berry. As you can see, it's rich, tastes delicious. Mmm, 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 mm, it's so good, unbelievable, just, just unbelievable. It's amazing that the, um, the, the healthier uh, I eat, the more, the more fo healthier foods that I eat, I don't tend to crave junk food and stuff that was making me sick for years. I just didn't know it, you know? You don't realize it until you stop eating it. And you're like, man, I feel better. I got more energy, you know? I'm, I, I can think clearer, like I'm, I'm focused, you know? I, I can concentrate for longer periods of time because a lot of times when you're eating junk food, it spikes. You know, you feel, you know, really energized at one point, then you get a straight low, it's like sugar diet, you know? You get, send you up really high and then you crash, right? Um, and that has a lot to, <laughs> that, it affects your thinking. It affects your mood. Like, man, you just be feeling like, oh, you know? So, I just try to be more self-conscious of uh, what I'm consuming. And I try to encourage others to do the same because, man, it's it, it's just amazing of, of how uh, some of our um, habits that we were taught since we were children really affect our health. You know, I grew up in the days where penny candy was a penny. I mean, you can you can get Mike and Ike, Boston baked beans, Chico sticks, you know, and these. This, as a kid in America, you know, that was everything, right? I mean, like, getting now on ladies, jolly matches, I mean, straight sugar. You know, you start coming into your teen years, you find children with diabetes. Like, man, what, when I, how did a kid, a child get diabetes? How become a diabetic, you know? Um, it's just what happens when you consume so much sugar. Um, you know, processed sugar, as opposed to giving them fruits and vegetables. Um, making them more addicted to things of, that come from nature, that natural, as opposed to saying like, you know, it got a strawberry on the box and it's saying sh strawberry, but it's not the real strawberry. You know, it tastes like something that tastes like what a strawberry is supposed to taste like. But when you taste the real strawberry versus, you know, it's like artificial drinks, you know, um, so now when I, when I want orange juice, I just eat an orange. When I want apple juice, I eat an apple. You know, just, just simplify things. My weight's been going down, my mood stabilizes my sugar. Um, I'm not having those crazy spikes. You know, I used to get really tired in the afternoons. I needed a nap, you know, from all, like, all of this, this, the um, food that you would eat during the morning and, and, and then the afternoon just would just get you on a slump, you know? But now I can eat a salad and um, eat some fruit and just have a stable, you know, just, just just feel more relaxed, not so anxious and just this roller coaster that food can take you on. But um, yeah, I mean, to each his own, you know? If, you know, you prefer the fast food and you in it, you enjoying it and you feel like it's making you feel the way you want to feel and it's healthy for you. Hey, kudos to you, you know. That's just not my choice. I'd rather stick with what's natural. Stick with what my body um, was designed to process. Because, you know, again, um, my weight comes down. I, you know, I, I really can uh, see the effects of what I'm working out. Um, it's, just a, it's just a better payoff for me. 
as far as, far as I'm concerned for what I can see. So, if you're ever in Thailand, um, check this place out, you know? It's, it's like, again, like I said, you know, I got a, a, a huge salad coming, a kale salad coming, um, with sweet potatoes in it. Um, like I said, I got a chop coming with salad and um, some um, wild rice. Um, man, and you know, and an organic drink, you know, for less than 15 US dollars. I mean, I know in America that like, it would cost me way more to eat like this, but here in Thailand, um, the cost of things are, are, are much more economical um, and you know, healthy. So, if you're ever in Thailand, just check, just check it out. I mean, you can eat for less than that here in Thailand. You can eat less. I mean, you can you can get a healthy meal for 200 baht or less. You know, 100 baht. Um, but I just prefer to eat at this place. Um, it's just my preference. Because once I tried it, I was, I was I was addicted. I was like, man. At first, when I saw that. When I saw that KFC over there, I was like, man, I might have to go and do that. <laughs> but I know the effects. I know what happens after that. There's a cause and effect. It tastes good going down, but man, it's a whole lot that come with that. As a matter of fact, it's not even chicken. That's why they call it KFC now. They used to call it Kentucky Fried Chicken, but not no more. Now it's just KFC. You don't know what you eat. But hey, you know. I'm not here to, I'm not here to be a Debbie Downer. I'm just, just saying like, if you want to know what you putting in your body, what you're getting, just keep the ingredients simple, you know? You gotta, if you need a, a thesaurus or an encyclopedia to understand what the word means or what you're consuming, you probably shouldn't be eating that. <laughs> just probably shouldn't be eating it, you know? But that's my take on it. Man, it's so good. Pause. I shouldn't be. <laughs> that was that was that was not cool. But anyway, that's how I feel today. <laughs> like, man, it's so good. This berry drink is so good. Mmm. It's so thick. Now um, pause on that too, right? <laughs> man, this is coming out. These words coming out crazy, but um, it's all good, man. They really, they really putting things together back there. Cause usually by now the food is out, but it ain't fast food, you know. Fast ain't always good. So a lot of times, but for quality, it takes time to prepare, you know. Hmm. So, that's all I'm waiting on now, is the ultimate delivery. Um, yeah, so, I could just maybe show you, uh, the place is not, not really that big, but, um, oh yeah, they have, they also have wines here too. Um, but I don't, I don't drink, so. Um, Oh yeah, they have like nice wild berry teas that are good. So, I mean, you know, I said, there's this, uh, there's this grocery store right across, this, right across from this place, right? Like right there, you can see like right over there is um, Tops Food. So they have like a lot of different food places you can eat here, which, um, I, I, no, I'll give you a walk through. I'll, I'll do a video where I actually just walk through. But, um, yeah, in this mall, you can find pretty much any and everything that you would have a taste well for to eat. Um, and uh, it's made fresh, fresh to go. Or you can eat right there on the spot. 
but I really enjoy coming here. It's more like a treat, you know, treat, treating your body, treating yourself good, being good to yourself, loving yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? One thing I'm learning as the, the, the older I get, nobody's gonna love you like you, you know? Nobody's gonna love you better than you. So take the time to care for yourself, treat yourself well, um, and your body will appreciate it, your organs will appreciate it, your heart will appreciate it. Um, it's essential, you know? It's very important that we take that time out um, to make sure that we're putting things in our body that will heal us. Because for years, man, I remember when I was back in the day, boy, you know what I'm saying? Just partying, going off, just constantly like, just, just draining the tank, you know? Getting very little sleep, go, go, go. Like all that has an effect on how, how you perform and how you think. <clears throat> you know, a lack of sleep, man. I'm taking it for granted, but you know, I used to be like, man, why do why, why do old people get up so early? <laughs> to be like, wonder why my grandparents used to be up yeah, four, five in the morning with no alarm clock. Like, you know, and you get older, I found myself, <laughs> I found myself now waking up with no alarm clock. You know what I'm saying? Early. <clears throat> Body just be ready to go. But that's because now I get efficient, I get an efficient amount of enough sleep. Whereas before, you know, staying up all night, running the streets, you know, doing this, doing that, just constantly go, 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 taxing yourself, um, not, not allowing your body a chance to heal. You know, <clears throat> when you rest and when you sleep, that's when your body does the most healing from, from within during your rest period. A lot of people think, oh, you just go to the gym, break the muscles down, and that's all you have to do. No, recovery. Recovery is, is just as important, you know, giving your body a chance to, to heal um, so that you can see it, so, so that you can see the gains, so you can see what you, you know, you worked so hard for. But if you just go, 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 eventually you'll get sick. The body will break down the nervous system. Um, you know, it'll be a shock to the nervous system to the point where it'll just shut down and you'll have to rest. The body will make you rest. So I tell a lot of people that I see working out, they want to go every day, just, just go hard, hard, hard. I mean, you, you, you could do that for a certain period of time, but eventually the body's gonna, gonna let you know it needs to rest. So here we are. So here we are, the food has arrived. So, just the chop. You got the rice. They got the butter on there. Yeah, you know. Got the rice. Just waiting on the kale salad to arrive. And then we can get down. So yeah, I got one more thing coming and that's the, that's the kale salad. But, yeah, I think, uh, so, just wait for that to come. But yeah, this is, um, you know, one of my one meal a day spots. I come hit it up. And this keep me full all the way till tomorrow, you know? Um, and then I fill it up again, let my body digest it, break it down use all the nutrients, and keep running. But just giving my body ample time to, to rest. Um, and really just, man, extract all the nutrients from the food that I need to keep me moving, to keep me going. So, I hope, the, I hope someone finds this video inspiring and it helps, helps people, um, you know, maybe want to make a, um, healthier choices in life in terms of what you, consuming what you want to eat. Like again, I, I keep talking about the other fast food restaurants that are just, what, next door or, or, or one door down. Um, you know, of course it's cheaper, you know, the food is cheaper, 
um, but also the quality is, is cheaper that I'm putting in my body, you know? Like I said, foods like that led to high blood pressure, diabetes, you know? I mean, and then it, it was it was cheap at first, right? It, it, it seemed cheap because it was, oh man, you know, you can get this for a dollar, but then you find yourself at the doctor's office paying more for those pills. Those pills are expensive. Oh, Captain Kyle. Yes. So this is the so this is the kale salad, y'all. That's 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 how they doing the kale salad here in Thailand with the 